So at the top of page 7, it's reconfirming what we did yesterday. So that if we are multiplying two complex numbers in trig form, all we really have to do is multiply the R values and add the theta values. Okay? And then that would give us the trig form of our result. If we're dividing, we divide the R values and subtract the theta values, and that gives us that result. Okay? So what I would like you to do is I would like you to do number four. I would like you to find me the product and the quotient of those two vectors in both trig and standard form. Go for it. So my product here, I'm going to take my R values and multiply them. I'm going to take my theta values and add them. Okay. So 6 times 3 is 18. So in my trig form here, that's going to be 18 times the cosine of 270 degrees plus I times the sine of 270 degrees. Okay. Then I can take that trig form and I can make that trig form be a standard form by I can multiply or figure out what the cosine at 270 degrees is. The cosine at 270 degrees is 0. The sine at 270 degrees is negative 1. And all of that is still getting multiplied by 18. <coughs> which would give me, in standard form, that would give me 0 minus 18i, or just negative 18i. One of those two. Yes? Okay. Then, in order to divide them, now I'm going to take the z's and I'm going to, first off, divide the, the r's. So that's going to be 6 divided by 3, and then that's going to be times the cosine of 210 degrees minus 60 degrees plus i times the sine of 210 degrees minus 60 degrees. Okay. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the trig form here would be 2 times the cosine of, that's going to be 150 degrees, plus i times the sine of 150 degrees. The cosine at 150 degrees is negative square root of 3 over 2. The sine at 150 degrees is 1 half. And that is still being multiplied by 2. So the standard form would be negative square root of 3 plus i. Yes? Okay. Questions on that one, either the product or the quotient. Fantastic. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to do the exact same thing with number five. 
The product is at the bottom of page 7. The quotient is at the top of page 8. For me, to make things a little easier, I'm going to switch them in both into trig form first. Um, so this first one gives me an R value here of negative 4 quantity squared plus 4 square roots of 3 quantity squared. And then I'm taking the square root of that. Negative 4 squared is 16. 4 square roots of 3 squared is 48. Add those two together, it gets me 64. That gives me an R value of 8. There. My reference angle is going to be the inverse tangent of 4 square roots of 3 over 4, which is really just the square root of 3. And the inverse tangent of the square root of 3 is 60 degrees. Because this complex number is in quadrant number 2, that's going to give me an actual theta of 180 minus my reference angle, which is 120 degrees. So z sub 1 in trig form is really 8 times the cosine of 120 degrees plus i times the sine of 120 degrees. Okay. Then I go to z sub 2 and I do exactly the same thing. First I find my r, 1 squared plus the square root of 3 squared, and take the square root of that. Gives me 1 squared is 1, square root of 3 squared is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, square root of 4 gives me an r value of 2. Okay. Then I need to find my theta. Luckily for this one, theta is in quadrant, or this complex number is in quadrant number one. So my reference angle is my actual angle. And that's going to be the inverse tangent of the square root of three. So then that is going to just be 60 degrees. So z sub 2 here is 2 times the quantity, the cosine of 60 degrees, plus i times the sine of 60 degrees. Okay. I'm scroll down and get those so that we can see those. There we go. So if I find the product, I take the r values and I multiply them together. So that's 8 times 2, and then I take the theta values and I add them together. 120 plus 60 okay. So the trig form here of this one is 16 times the cosine of 180 degrees plus i times the sine of 180 degrees. The cosine at 180 degrees is negative 1. The sine at 180 degrees is 0. So then my standard form here would be negative 16 plus 0i, or simply put, just negative 16. Okay. Dividing them now, now I take the r oops now i take the r and i so that's going to be 8 divided by 2 
times the cosine of, now I've got to subtract the angles, 120 degrees minus 60 degrees, plus I times the sine of 120 degrees minus 60 degrees. And then, so that gives me a trig form here of... four times the cosine of 60 degrees plus I times the sine of 60 degrees. The cosine at 60 degrees is one half. The Sine at 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. Those need to both be multiplied by 4. So the standard form here is 4 times 1 half is 2. 4 times the square root of 3 then divided by 2 is 2 square roots of 3. But because there is an I, I'm going to make an I sandwich with it. So I get 2 plus 2I times the square root of 3. Questions on that one? Using the same two function, or I shouldn't say functions, the same two trig form complex numbers, what I would like you to do now is just off to the side up there, or right above that one, is find me what z sub 2 divided by z sub 1 is. So the reciprocal of what we just found. So now this one would be my z sub 2 would go on top. So it would be 2 over 8 times the cosine of now it would be 60 degrees minus 120 degrees plus I times the sine of 60 degrees minus 120 degrees. Okay. 2 over 8 is 1 fourth times the cosine of negative 60 degrees plus I times the sine of negative 60 degrees, right? But do we like that? Which would we like instead? Positive what? But what would it be? 300. So instead, we would like the trig form here would be 1 fourth times the cosine of positive 300 degrees plus I times the sine of positive 300 degrees. Much better on that one. Okay? We won't have to find the standard form of that one. Okay? But we could if we wanted to. Just figure it out. That would be the trig form of the answer, yes. Yes, because we want positive angles. Okay. All right. So, number six, let's do those two. Find me the product and the quotient of z sub 1 and z sub 2. Five on that one. Nine plus sixteen is twenty-five. Square root of twenty-five is five. Yep. Theta prime here is going to be the inverse tangent of four thirds, which is fifty-three point one three degrees. Oh, that one is in quadrant four. 
So because it's in quadrant four, that's 360 minus that. So theta here is 306.87 degrees. Okay. So z sub 1 is really 5 times the cosine of 306.87 plus i times the sine of 306.87 degrees. Yes? Okay. Uh, Z sub 2 then, my R value is going to be 6 squared plus negative 6 squared is going to be the square root of 72, which is 6 times the square root of 2. Theta prime is going to be the inverse tangent of 6 over 6. So that's 1. That's 45 degrees. But because we're living here in quadrant 4, my actual theta is 315 degrees. So z sub 2 is... 6 square roots of 2 times the cosine of 315 degrees plus i times the sine of 315 degrees. Do we all agree with z1 and z sub 2? Okay, all right. Then I can scroll down here. Okay, so the product then of those two is going to be 5 times 6 times the square root of 2 times the cosine of 306.87 plus 315 i sine 306.87 plus 3 15, right? 5 times 6 times the square root of 2 is 30 times the square root of 2 times the cosine of, what is that, 621.87 degrees. Do I like that angle. Why not? Zero to three sixty, right? Okay. So how can I get that angle back to in that zero to three sixty range? Subtract three sixty from it, right? Okay. So then that would give me the trig form. Then would be. 30 times the square root of 2 times the cosine of, what is that? 261.87? Okay. Then it asked us to find the standard form of that. Well, so the standard form is going, I get negative 5.99992497. So let's just call that negative 6.0. Oops. Okay. And then... The sine of 261.87 times 30 times the square root of 2 gets me negative 42.0000107. So we'll call that minus 42.0i. Agree with that? Okay. So then the quotient then would be... 
So now I would take 5 and divide it by 6 square roots of 2. And then I would take the cosine of 306.87 minus 315. Both of those were in degrees. Plus I times the sine of 306.87 minus 315. Both of those are in degrees. Okay. 5 divided by 6 square roots of 2. Do I like that? Not really, right? So I could multiply both top and bottom by the square root of 2. Okay. So that would really be 5 square roots of 2 all over 12. Okay. And then that's going to be times the cosine of... What is this, negative 8.13 degrees, right? 306.87 minus 315 is, yeah, negative, yeah, okay. So plus I times the sine of negative 8.13 degrees. Do I like that one? No, right? So I got to bring that back in my 0 to 360 range. So the trig form here is 5 square roots of 2 divided by 12 times the cosine of 351.87 degrees plus I times the sine of 351 point eight seven degrees then in standard form I would do five times square root of two that divided by twelve gets me that and then that times the cosine of three hundred and fifty one point eight seven degrees gets me I get 0 0.583, and then I've got to do that one times 351.87 sine would be, ooh, help me out here. I don't know if I did that one right. 5 times the square root of 2, that times, or excuse me, divided by 12, gets me that, times 351.87 sine, gets me, that I like better, minus 0.83i. Yes, indeedly do. Yeah, buddy. Good stuff.